right, so now welcome back to the second half of the installation of the DMARC box. In this uh, video, I'm going to show how, now that we've mounted it on this piece of wood as an illustrative purpose, we're going to show you how what happens after that. Same installer is going to have an outdoor rated patch cord. Here I have an example of a Scout or OptiConnector, uh, also made by Corning. Simply up at the tower, he would unscrew one of the DMARC boxes. You take this, you plug it in, screw it in. These are all outdoor rated devices, uh, outdoor rated connectors. And so just in a matter of a few seconds, he has connectorized an unlimited bandwidth fiber optic cable to the DMARC box, which is very different than the traditional way of doing towers right now with the coax and the balancing and the various uh, power losses that are exhibited. We have now in a matter of minutes showing you how you can get up to the DMARC box all the way from the hut with all virtually unlimited bandwidth and a lot of savings and operational costs associated with traditional class cables. Now that we've done that part, and the next and the last part of this connection is to take this outdoor patch board. And again, for the purposes of this video, we have brought uh, uh, an outdoor case. All of you have seen this kind of case. This is a typical case where a remote radio head will be placed inside this case. This, of course, is mounted right next uh, or at the last part of the antenna, I should say. And from here, of course, you have the microwave signal, essentially. But this is the remote radio head. So now you have this side of the connector. This is blind mated into the optics. You can see here very clearly labeled OPT2, OPT1. So this is an example of a, a two antenna enclosure. You take that same connector, OPT-tip, you, you jiggle it right in there. And the way you do, you just connectorize it and then you're set. So, in a matter of minutes, you have a tower now that will allow you to migrate from traditional voice traffic all the way up to 4G LTE traffic. You have a fiber optic connector here, straight up to your DMAX box. So for people who don't want to necessarily uh, provision or deprovision a customer at the piping box, they can come up to the tower and simply unplug in from here. And unplug it from here and take this cable back out down the tower. And that will eliminate, or I should say, will uh, deprovision a customer. So again, very simple system you see here. Very lightweight, very system, straight from the remote radio head to the DMARC box, down the F1 cable, which comes pre-terminated, you go down to the pipe and box box that we showed here, and of course from pipe and box, the F2 cable comes out, goes into your 1U, which is situated in the hot. Uh, our estimated is this is 50% lighter, it's a good 20-30% um, uh, cheaper, and of course an operator over the lifetime of this product will realize tremendous savings. Not only is the possibility of theft eliminated, you, have, you reduce uh, your cost of operations because this is almost a lossless system. This is very little loss coming from the top of the tower to the bottom, as opposed to a coax system, which is, uses, loses a lot. And this is really speaks the language of your backhaul as well. Your backhaul is rapidly going to an all-fiber backhaul, where you're picking up uh, rings near your towers, and that ring is, uh, is transferring the traffic. So you have multi-motor, single-motor option, coming into your 1U, going into your backhaul equipment, if you want, you can have single mode, which is, of course, uh, has even higher bandwidth capability. So here, in a nutshell, is a very low-cost, high-rated antenna system that hooks directly from the hut all the way to the remote radio head. Uh, for any further questions, please visit us on www.opterna.com, or your local Opterna rep will be happy to demonstrate this for you. And of course, one of our fortes is to customize things for people. Uh, this cable, for example, comes in four or five different connector types, outdoor connector types. Um, the cables, so we work with a number of uh, cable uh, manufacturers, which are all our allies. And of course, everything is manufactured and uh, pre-assembled by us to make uh, assembly and mounting on the tower a lot easier. Thank you very much.